Namaste. Hi, I'm Michelle Freeman, and I'm going to share with you today a short and sweet little yoga practice that's all about releasing your neck and your shoulders. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in. So we're going to start out in a comfortable seated position, if you can, with a nice tall spine. If it's hard to sit on the ground uh, with a tall spine, you're also welcome to stand. You're also welcome to sit in a chair. You just want to be nice and upright. Uh, however you start. And let's just rest the hands in the lap. We'll go ahead and close down the eyes and just give ourselves a moment to really connect within. Let the day be left behind now, the busyness of the day. Let's roll the shoulders down the back, maybe give them a big shrug and let them go. And sinking the sits bones down into the earth as you gently create a little length through the column of your spine. And now start to connect into your breath. Just noticing the internal feeling of your breath. We'll take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Nice and full and then sigh out on the exhale. And now slowly letting the eyes crack open. And let's bring the arms nice and wide all the way up to the sky. So as you breathe in here, find the apex of the stretch up. And then exhale, just dropping the arms down. We're gonna flow like this with the breath a few times. So as you inhale, float the palms upwards and take the hands up towards the sky. Maybe the hands touch, maybe not. And exhale, just dropping the arms down. And one more like that. Nice big inhale, floating the arms up, front ribs in a little bit. And exhale, just bringing the arms down by the side. From this position, we're going to go ahead and take a little twist. So right, left hand, sorry, over to the right knee, right hand on the floor behind you, just coming up onto those fingertips. I'll show you from the side so you can see it. Sitting up nice and tall and gentle rotation over to the right side. And just taking a couple of breaths in that position. And drawing the right shoulder blade back towards the spine if you can. Let's slowly come to center. Other side, right hand catches the left knee, left hand on the floor behind you. Just sitting up nice and tall and gentle rotation to the left side. And coming back to center. We're going to change our seated position to a kneeling position. <clears throat> and then take the hands to interlace behind the back as you inhale. Stretch the arms into a straight position, puffing up the heart. Lift the gaze up about 45 angle. Let the shoulders pull back so they retract and drop down towards your hips. And then coming back to center. Take your hands now and just hook them over to the right side of your waist. Again, I'll show you from the side so you can see this a little bit better. So we're just tucking those hands in as close to the waist as we can. Hug the elbows back. And you'll see in this position, if you were to look at yourself in a mirror, your left shoulder should be dropped down a little bit lower. That is the intention here. We're going to drop the right ear to the right shoulder, maybe closing the eyes or just softening the gaze down. And really slow down now. Really take your time to breathe into this left side of the neck as we start to tease it open. Our neck is an area that does tend to store a lot of tension. And it's really this bridge behind, between the mind and the heart. There's a lot that goes on for our necks throughout the day, whether it is that we feel that we hold the weight of the world on our shoulders and kind of tense up the neck and shoulder area, or if we're looking down at a phone a lot of time, uh, our neck can get really tight, particularly at the front. So we do do a couple of stretches in this class for that. Just slowing right down. Let's start to add a little bit of movement with our chin position, just if you like. So you can start to drop your chin slightly to the floor, just a little mini micro movement there. It's not a big movement. And then starting to explore, lifting the chin slightly up and back. And we'll just nod the chin as if we we're saying the gesture yes, up and down. Let's do one more. I'm going to finish in the down position. Just pause there for a moment. Take a nice big breath into that left side of the neck. And slowly releasing on the exhale. Okay, swapping our sides around. So just hooking the hands on the left side of the waist, elbows hug back. And once you're positioned, just drop the left ear to the left shoulder. Try to let that right shoulder 
depress, which means it's dropping down towards your hips. You can just soften the eyes or close the eyes. Let's take a few breaths into this right side of the neck. We start to access what's going on there. A big part of our yoga practice is just simply connecting, just checking in with yourself, giving yourself a moment to feel what's going on rather than to be in our head so much. Remember, the neck is really sensitive area, so we want to take our time coaxing it open. Remember to find a little soft smile as well, so we don't tense the jaw, we release it. When you're ready, we're going to start to nod the chin slowly down, accessing more the back of your neck, and then starting to lift the chin. And see if you can just find those little micro movements. Kind of as if you're flossing through the tissue through this right side of the neck. A couple more times, just up and down, maybe even side to side. See what feels good for you. And we'll finish in the down position. And then slowly releasing that. Okay, from this pose, let's come around to all fours. So just a simple tabletop position. Spread the fingers nice and wide, spreading the webbing of the hands. Point your fingers nice and parallel, so there's a bit of symmetry to the hands. And let's take an inhale, start to tilt your hips up and back, so making your bottom nice and wide. And then lift the gaze, so we start to get into the front of the neck, opening the throat and contracting the back of the neck. And now as we exhale, curling the tail underneath, we'll gently round the spine or arch the back and bring the chin to the chest, the back of the neck lengthens. Do this a few times, just rotating back and forth. Inhale to reach the heart forward, squeezing the back of the body. And exhale, squeezing the front of the body as we curl in and arch the back. Once more with breath, inhale. Broadening the chest, opening up the heart a little bit. And exhale, rounding the back. Coming back into center, just walk the hands about an inch further forward. And we'll come into a brief downward facing dog, just a traction in the neck. So tucking the toes, press into the big toes and lift the knees up. And let's keep it moving. So once we come to our downward dog shape, we'll just bend one knee and straighten the opposite leg. And you can just pedal the feet back and forth. Let it be nice and loose, nice and easy. Try and straight away relax your head down, maybe give it a little shake. No, a couple of times, maybe circle it around. Good, and then when you're ready, just find a little bit of stillness, lift and spread the toes, activate the feet, lengthen the spine one last time. And then slowly coming onto the toes, we'll lower both knees down to the mat and have a seat once again, this time coming to a cross-legged position, if you're able to, otherwise it can stay kneeling. And we'll take a side bend or lateral bend. So right hand just comes off to find the earth on the right hand side. Reaching your left arm straight up to the sky, really lengthening upwards, and gentle arc over to this right side. Now we're going to take the left hand behind the back of our head, and just find the perfect fit where your hand fits right above the occipital ridge, which is that indentation at the back of the neck. And start to lift up through the elbow at the same time, arching over to the right side. Let the back of your head just press gently into your hand to give your neck a little bit of support. And see if you can relax a little bit, keeping the left sitting bone down on the ground. Some of you might also be able to go a little deeper, dropping down to the right elbow. Or you might want to use a yoga block underneath your right elbow to drop it down. And slowly, let's come all the way back to center. And we'll swap sides. Left hand finds the earth on the left side. Right arm floats up, really lengthening. And then gentle arc over to the left, taking the right hand behind the back of the head. Start to lift the point of the right elbow up to the sky to accentuate the stretch. Again, you might find it's comfortable to go a little deeper, so just see how it feels. Try and keep that right sitting bone anchored down. One more breath. Love this stuff. Let's inhale from all the way back up. Okay, nice and easy. We're gonna interlace the hands behind the back of the head. Again, find that perfect fit. Start to bring the elbows in towards one another, and then very gently tuck the chin to the chest and start to round the back down. You might touch the elbows to the floor, or you might not 
but just let the weight of the hands, you're not actually pulling on your neck, the weight of the hands lengthen the back of the neck. And now press down into the outer edges of the feet, the outer edges of the shins, the belly pulls back and we'll inhale, slowly unfurl. Now keep the hand position, bringing your gaze to neutral. Start to lift up into a small extension of the spine, so lift the elbows up to the sky. And then lifting the gaze, maybe 45 wrinkle, we'll start to crack open the elbows to create a little more space across the collarbones, across the chest. Use your hands to support the neck position, gently pressing the back of the head into the hands and resisting at the same time. And breathing. Good, slowly coming out of that position. So let's practice one more really nice neck stretch. This is my absolute favorite. We'll take our right hand, we're gonna bring it to the left side of the chest, kind of over where the heart is. And then left hand will just sandwich on top of that hand, finding that perfect fit again. Sink your hands in towards the heart and then gently drag the hands slightly down so the skin of your chest starts to kind of pull downwards. And then we'll lift the chin just a little bit upwards and drop the right ear over to the right shoulder. And just finding the sweet spot. So feel free to kind of wiggle the chin around, finding that perfect spot for you. Keeping your spine tall, maybe close the eyes or just soften the gaze. Remembering the neck is a pretty sensitive area, so we want to approach it from a state of mind that we're really relaxing into things. Let's just take a couple more breaths. Also reminding yourself to slow down, to let anything that you kind of have been carrying around with you, stress, anxiety, worries, just slough away. Let's do one more big breath. Remember, you're welcome to add some little micro movements. Sometimes that's really nice. And then slowly easing our way back to center. Let's swap sides. I always like to swap the hand on top to balance everything out. So sandwiching the hands on the right side of the chest. We'll lift the chin and drop the left ear to the left shoulder. Try and keep the elbows heavy, the shoulders relax. Try to relax your hands. Sometimes when we do exercises like this, we're so much in our heads about where our hands need to be and where our body needs to be that we actually tense more than we need to. So see if you can really relax. A few big breaths. So this pose is one of the best ways that I know of to stretch the SCM. This is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. It lives right at the front of the neck. And this is a muscle that tends to get really tight from us looking at mobile phones quite a bit of the day. So give yourself a chance to really open that all up. Feel free to add some little micro adjustments. Let's take one more big breath together. Stay here and just clear it out on your exhale, let it go. Little smile, let's come back to center. And we'll leave it at that for today, guys. If you feel like you want to do a little bit more yoga practice for yourself or have a relaxation in Shavasana, I encourage you to do so. But for now, thanks so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed that little practice. Om Shanti.